What is up guys? We're over on World Flipper. We have a new boss dropping into the game tonight. We've got the announcement that the Nether Fox is going to be hopping into the game, bringing with it two new armaments as of now, because we are getting the intermediate and advanced difficulties, and then the godlies and such will follow in the future. So we're going to be getting this boss at the end of today which is going to be like 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for me and 5 UTC on the 9th for everybody following that time tracker. It is going to introduce those two new armaments. Like I said, we're going to take a look at what those do. We're going to take a look at a team that you guys can take in. I'll have the JP version of that boss running on the right hand side so you guys can see what it's like. It's a very easy fight. The team that you are currently seeing here can also take on the godly variant. So if you have this built already, you're good to go. I'm just farming out the intermediate to show you guys. It's a very quick and easy, simple fight. With the gold and silver coins, we will get the two armaments being a five and four star respectively. These are dark power flip support armaments. So they do respectively do very similar effects to ones just stronger than the other. So this first one is one of dark characters skill activates powerful damage plus eight to a max of one. 20% that is going to be the five star variant and then if we filter it again by the four star variant and take a look at what the axe is doing when a dark character skill activates power flip damage plus six to a max of 90 so this is going to be just kind of how these weapons come out in tangent with each other they're going to have very similar effects the five star being stronger taking a look at the shop in the jp version you do have the two armaments here for the silver and gold coins that's what we're getting tonight and then you will get future weapons added in here for the godly variant when that does arrive in our version of the game which is more dark skill damage dark multi-ball support i'm using them currently on my dark multi-ball team so these are coins that eventually will be very useful and obviously you get your set of man Mana, you get your set of mana board materials, EXP, crests, and so forth as these boss battles usually go. The team itself is very straightforward, very just light skill damage. It is a very easy boss to do. This is not going to be difficult really for anybody. You don't need Orville. You can just use a regular Elias skill damage team. I'm sure it will work fine. This is not hard. I'm beating this very quickly. And even if you have like light fever with anniversary Neftum, you're going to just destroy this. You're going to get your skills off right away. It's going to be awesome and everyone's going to be happy run this in co-op you're going to get it done pretty quickly so it'll be nice free little armaments hope you guys enjoy these little updates on this stuff coming into the game i'm also going to be putting up a thunder solo boss challenge video as well tonight so you'll have this and that to look forward to i apologize i can only record the solo boss challenges every other day because I want to get the runs done in two times speed but I have to clear it the first time and I only have two attempts a day and it just it, it's a little frustrating trying to record that, but I'm getting them done for you guys. I'm going to keep getting them uploaded as often and as quickly as I can. Still need to do the Mana Board 2 video. I need to do a video talking about the balance patch update. I was hoping they would do an official post. They said it would be coming in the future of all the changes. I do have a spreadsheet that I got from a friend and that was posted by somebody else. So I can go over all the changes there so we can take a look at all of the unit updates and everything that did go into the game and the armament updates. As some of you guys pointed out in the comments, we did get the armament updates way ahead of schedule. So some of those gotcha armaments are now much better than they were initially pulling them. And there's so much to talk about. I need to do an updated tier list because of all of these balance changes that we got so soon. The tier list is just all over the place right now because so many units that were previously not great are now usable or even much better than they were in the past. So it's going to be a very interesting month of World Flip. I got a lot of videos I want to do. Appreciate you guys stopping by once again. Good luck in the boss fight. It'll be very easy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.